Search and rescue crews return to the Talkeetna Airport. Their mission, again, unsuccessful. A flight scene plane from K2 Aviation crashed early Saturday night near the summit of what's known as Thunder Mountain at an elevation of nearly 11,000 feet. Shortly after the crash at 6 p.m., the pilot was able to make a satellite phone call to the office of K2 Aviation. He did report some injuries. He made, he made another call approximately an hour later at 7 p.m., and that was the last known communication that anybody's had with the pilot. Catherine Belcher is with the National Park Service. It's one of the agencies involved in the search, along with the Alaska Air National Guard, the U.S. Army, and Alaskan State Troopers. Search organizers say the plane had likely been on its way back to the airport when the crash took place. Because of the altitude, any rescue will have to come by air. It's a very tricky terrain up there. It's basically a sheer vertical cliff, lots of ice, lots of snow, lots of rock. Each one of these planes comes equipped with survival gear, including sleeping bags, food, a pot, and a stove. But what the pilot and his four passengers really need right now is better weather. Unfortunately, it's zero visibility and very low cloud cover, so our search crews have been unable to visually locate the crash site. We know approximately where it is, but we just haven't been able to put eyes on it. Search crews returned to Talkeetna not empty-handed but they did not carry the most precious cargo they had hoped to find. In Talkeetna, Dave Laval, KTVA 11 News.